The Pretty Polly Stakes is next. This is for three-year-old fillies at over ten furlongs. And the top one is Nemery Gemma for Rod McClure Barbacoas. For Darren Thompson, Differentis Jim Murray, Green Mantle Craig Beckwith, Joyrider Dan Hughes, All Leans Paul Rhodes, Prickles Byrne, David Robertson, Roaring Forties, Martin Little, Roaring Hawk Dan Hughes and Tesla Girl for Leon Van Rensburg. So 10 this time then. And ready to go. And away they go. And down this near side, Differentis, one of the first out, Roaring Fort is also out nicely. Looks like Dan Hughes has got two greys, which is just going to confuse me, isn't it? Because one's over one side of the track and one's the other. Well, looks like Roaring Hawk is the one at the back, and Joyrider is the one right over on the far side. But now then, it's going to be Anemone Gemma who comes through to take it up and leads from Orleans in second. Barber Coas is third, then Roaring Fort is after that one. Joyrider, the grey rider on the far side, is going nicely as well. Those two Tesla girl towards the back, Green Mantle, Differentis, and finally debutant Roaring Hawk at the back. But it's Anemone Gemma who leads past the seven, then leading by two to Barber Coas. And right over on the far side, Joyrider is probably just about second. Uh, the one that's racing by itself in the middle is Tesla Girl, but it's Anemone Gemma down on this near side who's still just about in front. Barber Coas has come through in a second, then comes Tesla Girl and Joyrider, all leans is tucked up on the inside, gonna need a good split. So too's Roaring Hawk behind it looking for room. Different is just being squeezed out a little bit there, so too Barber Coas, but it's Anemone Gemma who's in the lead, but only by about a length or so from Tesla Girl, all leans prickles, burn gets going, and now all leans has seen daylight and passes the full pole and immediately comes through to challenge but stops the jockey just taking a bit of a tug doesn't want to go on too soon and Nemony Gemma is battling on the inside and Nemony Gemma from all these prickles burn is now coming through nicely right over on the far side Joy Rider is running a big race that's now the near side as we switch angles and it's Nemony Gemma in the lead from all leans Joy Rider green mantles coming through with a good looking run as well so too is Roaring Hawk Tesla girl is suddenly looking beaten but it's Nemony Gemma is in the lead all leans is next for and half to go Joy Rider's running a big race, so too's Green Mantle, Roaring Hawk is next, then comes Prickles Burn trying to get in it, it's all leads, it's now hit the front, Joyrider at the centre of the track, they've got no company, inside the final half of the all leads is in the lead, Joyrider second, Green Mantle third, all leads is hanging on, but Joyrider's lunging, and Joyrider might have got up, it's close, it's mighty, mighty close, and Joyrider might have got up on the line, certainly deserves to have done running on its own, Bravely up the centre of the track all the way. All Leans has just held on though, probably. And Green Mantles run a big race in third as well. And then many Gemma are right out to be last. It's a short head win for Paul Rhodes, who always comes good on a classic day, doesn't he? All Leans takes the pretty poly for Paul Rhodes. Joy Rider, a big win, well, a big run for Dan Hughes in second. Green Mantle for Craig Breckwith, likewise in third. And Roaring Hawk, another one for Dan Hughes. I think that was on his first run as well. Prickles Burn for. David Robertson was fifth.